Hello everyone, I'm Michael from Heavyweight Boxing and today we're looking at what's next for Luke Campbell. So Luke Campbell's obviously coming off a very impressive performance against Lomachenko. It was a loss unfortunately, but there's no shame in losing against someone like Lomachenko who's a pound for pound star. Um, it was a really impressive performance from Campbell. Uh, nicked a couple of rounds in my opinion. I think the scorecards were a bit harsh. I would have given Lomach uh, sorry, I would have given Campbell maybe three or four rounds in that fight. And uh, every every round was competitive. Uh, maybe towards the end, Lomachenko, um, you know, was stamina wise, and the body shot started to uh, to have an effect on Luke Campbell. But nevertheless, a very competitive fight, especially especially when uh, a lot of people were writing Luke Campbell off and saying uh, Lomachenko would walk through him. Uh, yeah, it was a great performance from from Campbell. So where does he go from here? Well, he's clearly uh, mentally in a very good place as well. Uh, which is quite rare you know usually after a loss uh, fighters seem like they're in a terrible place um, but from what I've seen in interviews and social media Campbell seems like uh, he's in very high spirits and just wants to get back to winning ways so who does he fight next where does he go um, well unfortunately uh, for Campbell his future um, in the lightweight division hinges a lot on Lomachenko's plans so Loma obviously has three of the uh, four belts at 135 pounds and the other belt, the IBF, which is the one Campbell's probably eyeing out a little bit, um, is going to be difficult for Campbell to get a uh, shot at because he's not ranked top uh, 15 for the IBF. And so he's not going to get a mandatory challenge for that belt. Um, it looks like Loma is most likely going to be um, the uh, unifying the division and facing the winner of Comey versus Lopez to unify the division. So where does this leave Campbell if it means he can't get a shot at uh, a world title right now? Well, there is the option of looking for a um, rematch with Lomachenko, but I think this is highly unlikely. I don't think Campbell wants to really pursue a rematch. He did give Lomachenko a lot of trouble, but not enough to, to beat him. And I think Lomachenko as well, I think will be steering clear of Campbell and doesn't want any more of that. Um, but yeah, so the rematch is off the table. So what does he do? Well, the other option is possibly moving up in weight to super lightweight. You know, he is a tall, uh, lightweight. He is very big for, for that division and possibly could mix it with the super lightweight. But again, I don't think this is a great move for him, uh, cause he'll be losing one of his major advantages, which is obviously his, uh, reach and height advantage, which gave obviously Lomachenko a lot of problems. But if he moves up to super lightweight, he'll be mixing it with people who are more of a similar size to him. And um, yeah, I think he'll be losing a major advantage. So what do I think the best move for him right now is? Well, I think it's definitely to stay at lightweight. Um, obviously, he needs to get back to winning ways. He needs to get a little confidence booster. Uh, not as much as other fighters usually do after a loss, but nevertheless, he needs to fight someone of a lower caliber, obviously, um, and get a win on, uh, on his record and keep going. You know, some possible names I've seen people throw out is Anthony Crawler. Uh, Anthony Crawler is obviously a very great name in boxing, especially British boxing. Um, you know, fairly good resume, good record. Um, and a fight, I think, um, Campbell would be very confident that he would win. Uh, will Crawler get back in the ring for, um, for Campbell or face Campbell? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a particularly big money fight, although it could be quite an interesting domestic clash, and I would definitely tune into it. But nevertheless, that's not really a huge worry about who he fights immediately next because all it needs to be is opponent he believes he can beat um, and then move on to facing some more important opponents. So yeah, definitely get a win against a uh, fairly low opponent. And then looking after that is where it gets a bit more interesting. And I think the best move for him is to go and avenge that Linares loss. Um, you know, Linares recently moved up um, to super lightweight. Um, and then uh, after a very embarrassing defeat um, against, I think his name was Cano, it was a first round TKO loss. He's obviously decided to uh, move back down to lightweight and has now got a win there. So another reason why I think, uh, you know, it's not a great idea for Campbell moving up uh, division, you know, that that super lightweight division is no joke. Um, and I think he should stay at lightweight division for now. Um, I think that this would be a great fight. I think Linares Campbell would be a really interesting one. 
Um, I think it's a fight that Campbell believes he can win, and I think it's a fight I think he can win as well. Um, I think Campbell's been on the rise as uh, Linares is, appears to be on the decline. Really, a few uh, very dodgy performances. Not, he's not looked himself really since the uh, the Lomachenko fight. Um, but I think now that he's back at the lightweight division, we'll probably see a lot more for him, from him, um, a lot more positive stuff, should I say? Um, obviously, for Campbell, um, he avenged the Mendy loss, and now he's got the Linares not the Linares loss on his record, which he wants to avenge. And he really, it was a really close fight uh, that original fight. And obviously, a lot of us know Campbell had a lot of family issues going on around the time of that fight, and it was a really close one. And one I think Campbell would uh, would uh, would win this time. I think um, it'd be very close again for sure. But uh, it would then mean that Campbell had avenged the only two losses on his record. Uh, well, uh, two of the three losses on his record, should I say? Sorry. And the only loss he'd have would be against you know one of the best fighters of his generation and his time in um, in Lomachenko. And there's no shame, as I said before, in doing that. So um, yeah, and looking at obviously the common opponent uh, with Linares and Campbell I think uh, as many else and many other people would probably say that Campbell looked a lot better against Lomachenko than Linares did what we've got to remember is when Lomachenko faced Linares that was actually his first fight at lightweight you know considering he's moved up two divisions um, and then fighting Linares at lightweight uh, he did get dropped in that fight but I think that's got a lot to do with the fact that he wasn't used to the power and very, uh, not really used to the weight but by the time Lomachenko was fighting Campbell, this is a Lomachenko who's had big fights at that weight, is comfortable now at the weight, comfortable with the power at that weight. Um, and, you know, I think Campbell put up a great performance. He was able to last the 12 rounds. A lot of that was definitely due to his boxing IQ. Um, and, yeah, gave Lomachenko a lot of problems. So, yeah, I think that would be a great fight uh, for uh, Campbell and a fight I'd really like to see. Um, and I think that would do a load of good for his confidence, knowing, looking at his resume, I've avenged the two losses on my record. Uh, well, no, two of the three, so I keep saying that, two of the three. I don't think you can even count Lomachenko as a loss because he's just, you know, it's so good. You just almost um, look past it. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be a great fight uh, for Campbell. And then after that, again, it's hard to predict uh, what, what he does after that because again, it goes back to what is Lomachenko doing. Um, and we can't predict the future and I don't know what Lomachenko will do. Um, I've got a feeling Lomachenko, after he unifies the division and maybe has one other fight or so, is looking to go back down to um, uh, super... Uh, to super featherweight is it I can't remember the division below but I don't think I, or 130 pounds should I just say uh, he's made a few comments that he's definitely not moving up um, and I think he's struggling against the the bigger opponents and prefers to fight at uh, the 130 and that's why I think he was calling out a tank and wanted the tank fight at 130 but we'll see and hopefully if that does happen uh, that would be great news for Campbell because then it will free up a lot of the belts because Lomachenko obviously vacate all the belts and then we go from there and hopefully he gets the title shot that he really does deserve. Well, not that, you know, another title shot and the, hopefully get a uh, world title, which he definitely does deserve. And I think he will do. I think um, he's definitely going to become a world champion at some point in his career. Um, hopefully it's sooner rather than later. But there you go. There is my um, what's next for Luke Campbell. Let me know who you should, who you think he should fight. I'd definitely love to see the Linares fight, uh, the rematch. Uh, I would definitely tune in to watch that. But let me know what opponent you'd like to see him fight next. Uh, please like, subscribe, and thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.